as we have previously discussed, uh, one of the steps will be to store the quotes in a database. The example will be based on SQLite. It's a simple system, which is probably a perfect choice for our purpose. So what we need to do is the following. We will have to create a database which uh, contains a table that has multiple records. Each record contains a quote, uh, the author of the quote, and the category of the quote. So we'll have this, then something else, then another record, and so on. Ideally, in, a, in the real world, we would probably have to create another table for categories where we would have an identifier that corresponds to each category. And instead of um, writing the same category multiple times, we would just write its identifier. So for example, imagine that here we have another quote, which is uh, of the same category. If we change it here, for example, it used to be called love, and now it's called hate. Uh, the problem is that this one will be love, but this one will continue to be hate. Therefore, uh, that's why databases are usually normalized. This is a process in which we take these values here, uh, place them in a separate table, and give each of them an identifier. And then instead of using the category name directly, we just write down its identifier. For example, one is love and two is hate and, and so on. Here, we don't write text, we write just a number. So if one day I choose to re rename love uh, from love into, let's say, uh, romance, I only change it once here, while all these records will automatically be updated as well because they don't contain the actual category name but only an identifier. Uh, so this is a very, very superficial explanation of uh, what databases uh, are designed like in the real world. But in our example, uh, we're just going to keep it simple. And perhaps we might also want to have an ID, you know, a number which we can use to uniquely identify every uh, quote in our database. Like I said, uh, we'll be using SQLite, which is also usable in Python. You will have to install this module. Um, it is uh, present by default in the recent versions of uh, Python. I think uh, starting from 2.6, it's already on board. Otherwise, uh, you will have to install it yourself. I will not cover the installation in this um, tutorial. So that's it. Uh, line four, storing our quotes in a database. I will start by creating a new file. And this is uh, how it works. First, we import the module, it's named SQLite3. Um, this time I will create a very simple class, quote um, storage. It will have a constructor. And at the constructor will pass the path to the database file. What happens next is that we will establish a connection to it. Connection is SQLite 3. And then we create a cursor. This is an, uh, an object we use to interact with the database.
that's it. I will need a couple of uh, other functions. One of them is um, close. We will call this when we are done using the database. Uh, another one uh, is a function we will call probably once to create the database and here we'll uh, have to spend a little bit of time uh, figuring out what kind of uh, database schema we'll be using so there will be some query i don't know what it is yet but so far let's just uh, trade the outline of the function so cursor MEQ query then commit the changes to the database and um, close it then we need a function uh, to insert or to add quote uh, which takes a quote an author and a category and the input i don't know how this will work yet so this is again just the prototype of the function and we'll need one more function which is get quote it will look like this so uh, we can pass an uh, index it will retrieve a quote with the index to which is given but if an index isn't given the function will return um, a random entry so far it's not going to do anything let me say this as a uh, storage dot pi okay so first we have to create the database uh, you have to know some basic sql query syntax uh, to see how this works so we're going to create a table and name it quotes the table will have the following form so one attribute is an um, identifier it's an integer and it will be a primary key it means it has to be a unique number uh, then we will have the quote itself which is text then we have the author name which is also text and then we have uh, uh, the category which is text as well so this is our query since it's a multi-line string i will use python's triple quote strings okay here we go so this is the query which will uh, create a table uh, that has three attributes one of them is the id the second one is the quote author and the category the id is a primary key it's an integer uh, as far as i re remember um, this also implies that if we don't specifically indicate an id sqlite will automatically uh, generate one for us uh, using the next big number i mean the next number uh, currently not in use in the database uh, now that we know that this will be the schema we use uh, we can uh, write the rest of the functions first we have to use another query to add a quote to the database so we are going to do it like this the 
this is the query insert into quotes. Uh, the following values. So we have one, two, three, four attributes. So it's going to be one, two, three, four question marks. Uh, this question mark syntax is, syntax is for, um, well, it's a long story. Let's just say that the question marks will be replaced with the arguments given in the second uh, parameter to the execute function. And uh, these arguments have to be passed as a tuple. The first one is none because uh, we will just use an automatically generated identifier. Uh, the second one will be the quote followed by the author followed by the category. All right, as soon as we have done that, we will commit the changes to the database. And now one more function, that is the function which extracts a quote uh, from the database. If we have an index, then this is the query we'll be executing. Let's select everything from quotes where the ID equals the index we passed. Notice that the second argument of the execute function must be a tuple. Therefore, index is written in parentheses and there, there is this comma here at the end to explicitly indicate that this is a tuple, not something else. So if there is an index, we will use that index. Otherwise, we'll do something else. Uh, we will just take a random quote from the database. And for that, we will use the following uh, type of query. Select all from quotes. order by random and limit one to indicate that we only need one entry. Okay, here we go. Once the query was executed, uh, we have to fetch our data. Result is self cursor fetch one because we always take just uh, just one quote and we return this to whoever called the function and now we are going to have to run a few tests mm, give the name of the function is main. This is another Python trick. Uh, this would be the equivalent of a main function in C. Uh, so we're going to create a quote storage. Let's call it uh, QS. Is a quote storage. And the database will be, let's Call it um, quotes dot db. Okay, here we are. Uh, the next step is to create a database. Qs dot 
create db. We won't have to pass any arguments. It will just create the database. That's it. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't think we have to close it here because we will continue using it. Now let's insert a couple of quotes. Add quote. Huh. So uh, let's see. Add quote takes three arguments, the quote, the author, and the category. So let the first one be blah, blah, blah. No, no. This and the category will be www. Then I'm going to add another quote. And another one. Okay, found a bug here. It should be just close. And when we are done, I'm going to close the whole thing. Okay, I've saved the file. Now I can go back to my uh, command line here. I moved all of them to a folder called WinFortune. Uh, let's run Python storage pi. Okay, something happened. Uh, now I will use a, a tool for browsing SQL light databases. It's called SQLite Browser. Somewhere here. It's a free program, you don't have to pay for it. Now let me open a file and point it to the database uh, which was created in D Dropbox WinFortune quotes.db. If I press browse data, I see that my quotes are here, so it means that it works. It means that the create function works properly and the add quote function works properly as well. Now I can comment all of these because I won't need that anymore. And let's test the get quote function. So I will print QS get quote. Uh, in the first case, I will take the first quote, which is this one. And in the second case, I will call get quote without any arguments. So it should give us a random quote. Now let's go back to the command line and run it again. Okay, so we run it once. We have the first quote. Uh, the second one was randomly chosen. We, if we run it again, you see that uh, the second quote is still the first one. So the randomizer gave us a two at first. This time it gave us a one. This is a three. Okay, so basically now we can simulate um, the extraction of a random quote from our database. I guess this uh, wraps it up for now. In the next step, uh, we will refine the previously written program such that it extracts quotes from the web page and then writes them to the database. And then we'll have another for loop which uh, goes through the whole site, extracts everything it can and writes it to the database. Stay tuned.